sleet and rain will likely cause trouble for people traveling in Nebraska on Thanksgiving. Freezing temperatures will then make difficult conditions even worse. Reporter Kelly Bartnick continues our team coverage tonight. He's live. Kelly. Craig, right now the city's plan is to start bringing people in around noon. It will be ready for an all hands on deck uh, snow and ice removal situation around four o'clock Thanksgiving Day. Now the city is doing as much as it can early to be prepared, but with this type of storm, most people just have to wait for the big freeze. Mounds of road salt at the Omaha Street Department are already in city trucks. Preparations ahead of a Thanksgiving freeze that people are preparing for before the turkey is even in the oven. As soon as it turns to ice, you've got the entire roadway system to deal with, and so you're, you're playing catch up from the time the pavement freezes. Omaha Street Maintenance Engineer Austin Rouser says pre treating roads with salty brines won't do anything this time. The rain forecasted before the ice would wash it away. Instead, as you head off to Thanksgiving dinner, He's prepared to mobilize up to 100 employees and contractors to get you home safely. We're going to be away from their families and their, their friends, and uh, I just want to thank them all I can, every chance I get for that. That's what city staff can do, but what about you? AAA says the only person who can prepare more is yourself. And it's always advisable to have a good ice scraper, a long handle brush is one that we recommend. Rose White stands next to a different kind of table, filled with items that will have any stranded family more than thankful they took time to be prepared. This means blankets, socks, gloves, hats, those things that will especially protect the outer extremities because they're most prone to frostbite. White says pack it now, just in case. Storms could reach well beyond Omaha, settling over much of the Midwest. The good news for air travelers today at Epley is so far the skies are clear. The roads are too. Everyone anticipates by tomorrow that could all change. Now another variable here for city crews will happen after dark. Typically, uh, as people are headed out for their early Black Friday shopping, they leave all of the street lights operating instead of turning some to just flashing lights. Uh, they will do that again this year, but they're preparing for more cars to be out because apparently nothing stops people from hunting for some deals. So that could also complicate some of those ice removal efforts. Reporting along I-80 tonight, Kelly Bartnick, Action 3 News. All right.